Tesla FSD Beta V11 is intended to include vector spaces and the usage of all eight cameras while driving on the highway. Furthermore, for highway driving, V11 is anticipated to replace manually written programs with neural nets. Musk claims that the software's frequent delays are due to these big architectural changes. He does, however, hope that Tesla will eventually release the V11 by the end of this week. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we will take a look at certain reasons why there is a delay for FSD 11.3 rollout. Tesla launched FSD Beta, the next iteration of the company's full self-driving software, in late 2020. This software version is a significant architectural redesign of Tesla's autopilot software, which, unlike previous incarnations of autopilot, requires integrating all views from eight cameras into a vector space that the vehicle utilizes to execute real-world driving. Simply put, the new software constructs a virtual version of the real world by piecing together images from the eight cameras, and the vehicle uses this virtual representation of the real world to make driving judgments. Tesla's new method has enabled vehicles to handle more complex driving scenarios, such as surface streets, roundabouts, and unprotected left turns, which were previously unachievable with Tesla's old autopilot software. The FSD Beta V11 release from Tesla is quite significant. It is the first generation of the electric vehicle manufacturer's advanced driver assist system to use a single software stack for both highway and city driving. This is very intriguing, and while Musk has not been particularly accurate with his forecast regarding FSD, we believe this one will be more accurate given that he says that the software will be available in the coming days. Expectations for the update are high, as it is expected to offer significant improvements over its predecessors. However, as with other major things at Tesla, such as the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi, the wide release of FSD Beta V11 has been delayed. What is intriguing is that Tesla began the initial rollout of FSD Beta V11 in November with an objective of a wide deployment by Thanksgiving of 2022. The Thanksgiving 2022 plan date for the wide release of FSD Beta V11 did not materialize despite leaked release notes confirming the deployment of a single stack architecture. Elon Musk gave V11 the two weeks treatment in December, and by the first weeks of January, the CEO remarked that FSD Beta V11.3 should be ready for general release in about two weeks. Musk stated at the time that V11.3 will have several substantial upgrades. Tesla has yet to begin a broad deployment of FSD Beta V11.3. In a recent tweet, Elon Musk explained the substantial delays in the widespread distribution of V11. Musk noted that V11 was more difficult than expected, and it includes a number of major changes to the FSD beta system as a whole. Musk did, however, state that he still hopes to ship V11.3 by the end of the week. V11 has been more difficult than anticipated because it represents a massive re-architecture of double ends, with many more double ends replacing C++. I am hoping to ship V11.3 before the end of the week, Musk added. When asked recently on Twitter when FSD Beta V11.3 would be available, Musk stated that the upgrade should be available later this week or next week at the latest. This corresponds to Musk's two weeks prediction from a week ago, when he stated that V11.3 would include several substantial upgrades. Musk did not specify what these enhancements are when he announced V11.3, but he did mention several aspects that he is particularly pleased about in his recent post about the release. Musk expressed enthusiasm for many tiny things in V11.3, such as the usage of neural nets for vehicle navigation and control. A lot of minor things. We're beginning to use neural networks for vehicle navigation and control, not just vision, Musk stated. While Musk's FSD beta release estimates are notoriously optimistic, the information that he has been teasing hint that the upgrade may be ready for a wider deployment shortly. By the way, 
If you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Now coming back to the topic, while Tesla is anticipated to witness a surge in new vehicle orders this year as a result of its lower prices, some of the company's recent customers have voiced disappointments that they missed out on what might be regarded as a big discount on their vehicles. This was notably true for consumers who received delivery in the fourth quarter of 2022, as Tesla rushed to deliver as many automobiles as possible in the fourth quarter. The company strongly encouraged consumers to take delivery before the year's conclusion. This was mostly effective as it helped Tesla deliver 1,313,851 vehicles in 2022, a 40% increase over the previous year. This figure, however, fell short of Wall Street's forecasts, contributing to a decline in TSLA stock. It is no surprise that a number of Tesla owners and fans have signed a petition on Change.org asking the firm to consider offering individuals who receive their vehicles in Q4 special treatment. After all, without the customers who took possession of their vehicles in Q4, Tesla's results would not have been as remarkable and Tesla's stock may have fallen even worse. The petition in Change.org contains several sensible requests. The petition, started by Tesla YouTube personality Denny C.W., asks the EV maker to provide individuals who received their vehicles in Q4 2022 free access to full self-driving for one year or free supercharging miles. Both FSD access and free supercharging would most likely cost Tesla nothing because the former is merely access to software-based functions and the latter is already regularly supplied by the firm, particularly in times of need. Furthermore, approving the owner's petition would most certainly provide Tesla with a lot of positive sentiments from the car buying public, which is extremely valuable for the firm as it moves deeper into the mainstream auto market. Musk has been clear about the fact that Tesla's future evaluation will most likely be determined by whether or not the business can develop its full self-driving and autopilot technology. With this in mind, it is vital that FSD beta and other critical features be implemented in a variety of locations around the world. Musk projected on Twitter in March that FSD beta will be available for Europe's left-hand drive markets around summer of 2022 with right-hand drive areas following a few months later. Musk noted that his estimations for the release of FSD beta are subjected to regulatory approval. It would not be surprising if FSD Beta V11.3 is distributed to Tesla's initial batch of FSD Beta testers in the coming weeks. The application of neural networks for vehicle navigation and control could result in a significant improvement for FSD Beta. Tesla has used neural networks to determine a vehicle's surroundings and the objects around it, among other things. This data is utilized to generate a 3D environment known as a vector space. Tesla may then plan a route to its destination while avoiding potential hazards. It appears that Tesla has been primarily using neural networks to assess a vehicle's environment. If neural networks are employed to determine how a vehicle moves and determines a path, FSD beta may behave more human-like than previously. Tesla initially distributed FSD beta to the 3,000 or so members of the company's early access program. However, that number has now risen to over 400,000 vehicles and the capacity is now included with any purchase of the full self-driving option in the US and Canada. Since the first release of FSD beta in late 2020, the program has received multiple updates that have increased the smoothness and the capabilities of the self-driving software. FSD Beta 10.69 was Tesla's most recent major FSD update. This version of FSD Beta was launched at the end of August and included significant changes that pushed Tesla one step closer to the objective of having the software totally take over the driving responsibility. Having said that, FSD Beta 10.69 is still a long way from becoming a fully autonomous Level 5 solution and the software needs a lot of development to fully become self-driving. Needless to say, the anticipation for the general release of FSD Beta V11.3 is palpable.
This is especially true for the company's FSD beta testers, who have been patiently waiting the much anticipated update. However, once V11 is launched, it would not be shocking if Tesla's total miles traveled with FSD beta, as well as the fleet itself expands much further. And with that being said, it is time to end our video. Before that, we would like to know, what are your views about the FSD 11.3 rollout? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one. We will see you in the next video.